And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Oubre. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. Grant down low with Jokic. And it's Barton in at the three, the small forward. And for the Suns, Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. Kelly Oubre out there with Bridges. And it's Aiton in at the five spot. I think the player most closely identified with the Phoenix Suns the last three years, obviously Devin Booker. You know, here's a guy who averaged well over 20 points. He can beat you with the pass as well. He's the piece that gives this team great hope for the future. Now, here's Rubio. Kicks to Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Rubio, the pass to Booker. Six on the shot clock. Phoenix needs to get off his shot. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. On defense, Denver. Three-pointer. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. And what's astounding. Even with Booker, the Suns have been last Doris in three-point accuracy two straight seasons. Yeah, and I think that speaks, Kev, to the roster construction. You need floor spacing to win games, and it can't be from just one guy. This franchise knows that. They just haven't been able to yet solve the problem. Now, here's Bridges following the miss by Jokic. Oubre dishes to Bridges. Rubio with a wide open look. Another three for Phoenix. I tell you, the jumper might not be the prettiest of pictures, but the offensive spacing improves dramatically when Rubio hits it. Here's Jokic, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, you watch Nikola Jokic out there, and he just moves like a guard. The way he approaches the game, sees the court, and shoots just on ground in that center position. throw good Jokic you know Greg Jokic has so many tools at his disposal he's a walking triple double threat the passing and vision is what really sets him apart at that center position the offense can run through him and should run through him with how he can distribute the ball and Jokic drops them both Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Oubre outside. Down low. Here's Hayton. He can't get that one. And Denver the other way now. Martin passes to Murray. Now, here's Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And the precise passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the floor. Knocks it loose and stolen by Harris. He kicks it to Murray. A three ball. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Rubio against Murray. Rubio looking it over. The pass to Bridges. Aiton with it. Just five to shoot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Well, that's a determined score right there. DeAndre Aiton showing a little toughness on the interior finish. It's Jokic top of the key. Passes it to Murray. Launches it. Bangs home the trifecta. 
Murray's got six. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. To the right side. Aiton kicks to Rubio. And the layup's good off the glass. He has five. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Murray against Rubio. Murray kicks to Jokic. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Pass to Rubio. Oubre outside. Pass to Bridges. Six to shoot. That one falls. Now Murray. He had 31 points in the win against Utah. There's the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul. Harris passes to Grant. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Very good awareness from Grant. Just the ability to catch and shoot. So important to his growth. Rubio against Murray. Oubre outside. Bridges for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. In no way that game should have been as close as it was. They sort of stumbled, but they found a way at the end to pull it out. Hits it from three-point range. Looking at the schedule doors, about halfway through the season, some teams that started out very hot and were winning like crazy have now come back to earth. They've cooled a bit. They've leveled out. I think inevitably over the course of an 82-game season, NBA players will tell you there are always ups and downs and waves of success and then the tough moments. And the best teams seem to be able to weather all of that, not get too high when they're playing well, not get too low if they're in the middle of a slump. Now Harris after Mikel Bridges missing on that last three pointer. Five on the clock. And here's Harris from the arc. That shot missing. Suns trail by three. Bridges with it. Now guarded by Barton. Bridges kicks to Booker. Back to Bridges. Booker outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at Denver. The season well underway, and they've been solid in third right now. And checking out Phoenix. They have a lot of ground to make up. Well, right now for the Suns, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. All talk, no walk. Simple as that. They just don't match up with the better teams in the NBA. And that one goes out of bounds. Last nice touch by Eaton. Sharch has checked in for Bridges. Porter's checked in for the Nuggets. Torrey Craig comes in for Gary Harris. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Three-point lead. Four on the shot clock. Murray the pass to Porter good and the assist goes to Murray Murray's got three assists now in this one yeah this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing now here's Aiton he had a 12 point outing in their last game against Houston and the other thing guys he really got after it on the backboards what a complete game for this guy and it's the Nuggets with the ball following the missed shot by Dario Saric and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here. GA drafted after only playing three games at the University of Missouri. A lot of people probably hadn't seen Michael Porter Jr. play basketball. 
But with that in mind, describe his game for us now. Kevin, at 6'10", he's a fluid athlete with tremendous shot-making ability. He grew up one of seven kids, homeschooled. They all played ball. He's had a basketball in his hands from a very young age, and you can see it in his approach. He throw good, Porter. And the medical red flags for Michael Porter Jr. caused him to slide to the Nuggets in the 2018 draft. Two back surgeries in less than a year. An injury suffered initially in his sophomore year of high school. The risk is there, but if his body holds up, potentially a star on the make. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Well, some rookies have been making a name for themselves on the glass this past month. Let's see who we're talking about. Number one, Michael Porter. And every team in the league needs a guy who can go and get. I mean, his great work on the boards certainly endear him to the coaching staff. Looking to end the run. And the Suns miss again. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Morris kicks to Murray. And I have just been so impressed with the way Jamal Murray has added to his game. Keeps pushing himself every offseason to make the most of his abilities as a player and continues to be a consistent threat from the outside. The first one falls. And with Murray, Greg, you forget how young he is. He entered the NBA right out of his freshman year at Kentucky. I mean, Murray was taken seventh in his draft and has kind of flown under the radar from that class. But the more you watch him, the more you feel like you're seeing a star in the making. Now here's Shorich. No points in the game yet for him. And, you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. Porter with it. Covered by Sharich. Back to Morris from outside the arc. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me, Greg, is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. Now here's Shorich. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Porter with the steal. Here's Craig, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the foul against Phoenix. The Nuggets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And the first one at the line is good. 
Doris, so interesting to watch seven footers who almost never shot three pointers make that now a featured part of their game. Give some credit to the coaches who recognized the game was being revolutionized and that three point shooting, regardless of position, would become integral to success. So a guy like Marcus Saul, who actually fought the idea of taking threes, Brooke Lopez, Nikola Vucevic, all of them have become more integral to team success and more uh, capable NBA players because they can shoot the basketball. It's beautiful. It is evolving and adapting at that size has been something to watch. And the Suns call time here. For viewers, timeouts a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Jokic. He's getting around 20 points per, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. Now here's Johnson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Lock at 6. Here's a Kobo. Softly drops in the floater. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Here's Morris. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Utah. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Suns trail by 15. Here's Jerome. Johnson outside trying to find Jokic gets it to him all by himself Morris with the bucket Morris has got seven points in the game they've wasted no time settling into their offense and it's a Kobo with the ball for Phoenix charge outside passes it to a Kobo Here's Ayton, falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Well, the form and the touch and the mid-range from DeAndre Ayton, this guy is special. Morris finds Jokic. From about 19 feet, no good on the shot, a bit long that time. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Jerome passes to Johnson. Good work defensively by Morris. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. It's good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Jerome. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Okobo. They get a hand on it. Here's McCray. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Out left to the wing. 106 left in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Pass to Johnson. Here's Ayton. A shot. No good. Good defense by Jokic. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's a Kobo to the inside. Here's Jerome. He hits it from nine. 
at his size, Dario Saric can see the floor and he knows how to put it on time and on target. 27 seconds left here in the first quarter. Suns trail by 17. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. The dish to Johnson. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's a Kobo. And the three off target. And so it's the Denver Nuggets out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. Back right after this. Nikola Jokic, a former second-round pick, turned star in the league, talks about what the game means to him. Basketball, like passion, love. Like, that is the thing I play, like, when I know four, six, seven years old, I don't know. Like, basketball is always in my life. That, like, I think it's passion. I think it's passion. In basketball, Greg, a big deal in Jokic's native land of Serbia. And I love his creativity. There's an artistry and a freedom in how he plays the game. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Nuggets, this has been the game they wanted to have. The offense firing on all cylinders. They dominated that first period. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Suns, Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. And it's Tyler Johnson, and it's Jerome in at the one. And that one misses. Of course, you can't help but notice the teams are shooting earlier in the shot clock. One theory being the faster you shoot, the more possessions you get. Well, and the numbers would, would speak to that. No, no doubt, Kevin. And the reality is, for, for announcers and for fans, that breakneck pace makes it more exciting for us. One NBA mm -hmm. coach told me this past year that your field goal percentage in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock gives you your best opportunity to make it. And the longer that shot clock goes on, the more your field goal percentage dips. So, hey, good for us, good for the fans, good for the teams. And that's because the defense has a chance to settle, correct? It's exactly right. Mikael Bridges checked in for Johnson. Six to shoot. Here's Craig. Drains it from beyond the arc. Craig's got seven points. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Jerome passes to Sharich. Now Bridges. The three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Porter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Aiton, the pass to Jerome. Got a piece of, of it. Bounds. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Harris. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here's Jerome, the good-looking shot from the wing. Jerome's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Morris right side. 
And Jokic wide open. He shoots. And another miss by Denver. Here's a Kobo. The pass to Jerome. Bridges with it. There's the three. Tipped away. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. We have a chance now to look at the teams that have created the most points off turnovers this season. The Suns fifth. They've shown a tremendous ability to cash in on their opponent's mistakes, creating offense with their defense. Right side, Porter. The fadeaway. He gets it in there. Porter's got seven. A pure shooter who's also efficient. Porter nearly automatic from mid-range. Pass to Jerome. Bridges with it. From past the arc, buries the long-range jumper. Bridges has got his second basket. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you, and he comes through with flying colors. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. They went to Phoenix for their last meeting with the Suns and came out with a win. Yeah, they really squeaked out a close one in that last matchup. Came down to just a few turnovers that gave them the margin of victory. Both teams deciding to change it up. A moment here now to see the numbers for Gary Harris. How last month turned out for him, averaging about seven points, three rebounds, and two assists. And clearly, he's having a tough stretch here. But it's all about how you respond to the adversity. That'll be key. Right, because everyone gets out of rhythm on occasion. It feels harder than it should be, but you've just got to keep working. Murray, the pass to Harris. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? Here's Murray. Eight points for him. That's a floater go. Yeah, that's a terrific contest by Oubre. He's got the length and quickness to defend every perimeter spot, one through three. Just five to shoot. Jokic. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Well, Greg, the rapid ascension of Nikola Jokic into NBA stardom has been nothing short of amazing. You know, he really is an elite center now. I mean, he's the best player on a very talented young team in the West. I would not be surprised to see him win an MVP in the next few years. Grant against Oubre. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about the ability to adjust after the contact? Booker, the score in the end one. Doris, what has impressed me about Booker is that he's put up great numbers despite not having a lot of franchise stability at the start of his career. No doubt, Kevin. For Devin Booker, his first four seasons, he had four different head coaches. That doesn't even start to touch the roster turnover he's dealt with. Through everything he's faced, he has produced on the offensive end. You love this guy's upside. Free throw, good Booker. Or it's such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college, looking to get ahead in their career and what you've chosen? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. 
I would just tell young women, times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than that. Thanks, Kev. Sharich. That one doesn't drop. Good defense by Jokic. Barton against Bridges. For three, Harris. Bridges with the board. Suns trail by 15. Rubio outside. Vicious to Booker. Knocked away. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Here's Jokic. Good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. The shot comes out, and it's Denver the other way. They host the Spurs after this one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Very dangerous to lead a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Booker's got six here in this quarter. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Now, here's Rubio. He has five. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. And a quick look at how the Suns' schedule is shaping up. On Monday, they'll be facing off against DeMarcus Cousins and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Wednesday, they'll take on Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And for the matchup with the Bulls, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Now, here's Jokic. Martin from outside. They grab their own miss. And Jokic throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, time GA. Out, he out. loves going to work on the rebounding, going Martin. to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Phoenix calls timeout. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. a chance to check out stats for Kelly Oubre. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. 15th in scoring and don't forget top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And yeah, one of the most dangerous scorers in the game. He's already come up big in some key games this year. His teammates really feed off his presence, I think. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. Phoenix shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. And that one falls for Ricky Rubio. That's so much that Rubio gives you. The last thing that has to come to me is the range shooting. Both free throws good from Rubio. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Murray. Eight points for him. And he converts the layup. Murray's got ten. 
And, and even at six foot five, Murray just elevates high inside for these buckets, a high percentage shooter down low. Here's Bridges, 19 point game. And here's Rubio. And it's sent back by Jokic. Just four to shoot. And it's Rubio. That time on the assist from Bridges. Ten points for Ricky Rubio. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Jokic kicks to Barton. Pass to Harris. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Suns. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Murray for three. Rebound by the Suns. Charge has got six rebounds now in the game. On the wing, Booker. A three-pointer off the mark. Denver leading by 16. Murray surveying the D, and Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Murray against Rubio. Pass to Jokic. Six on the shot clock. Boy, now you have to think about pulling in. Three fouls already in this half. A fourth would be inexcusable. And one thing you have to love about Gary Harris, the way he can explode to the rim. And Harris is a natural scorer from all parts of the floor, but he can just rocket himself for dunks. You aren't used to seeing from players of his size and stature. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's Rubio with the ball for Phoenix. It's an 18-point game. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, and defensively, boy, did they trust one another. Communicated well and just made it very difficult to get good looks in that one. You knew they were on a string all night on the defensive end. And it always helps when someone got caught out of position, help was on the way. And it's blocked. Oh, Dario Sharich sends it back. Go ahead, sir. Jokic passes to Barton. Back to Jokic. Shot clock at six. But they get it back. For three, Harris. Sharich grabs the board. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Rubio finds Oubre. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Harris against Booker. Kicks it out to Johnson. Puts up a three. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. A three-point gunner in college. And Tyler Johnson displaying some of that capacity right here. Back to Murray. The pass to Jokic. Harris with it. Launches a three. Gets in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. Well, one make and six attempts. I, I think it's fair to say he's had a rough start to this quarter. Booker looking around. Kicks it to Rubio. Back to Booker for three. Another three for Phoenix. How about the competitor answering? Mr. Booker put it back for the three-point answer. Murray with it. Now guarded by Sharich. He gets that one. That's 12 points for Jamal Murray. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Passes it to Booker. Back to Rubio. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Well, really good aggressiveness by Rubio. A key we talk about getting to the free throw line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here.
first free throw is good. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. And the Suns making a change here. Aiton's checked in. The Nuggets also changing it up. Porter's checked in for Jokic. Torrey Craig comes in for Will Barton. And McCray subbed in for Harris. And he makes both free throws. 133 left to play here in the half. Murray against Rubio. Murray kicks to Porter. Now, here's Grant. Defense is right there. Well, outstanding contest on the shot, and then he's positioned perfectly to go after the rebound. Here's Johnson, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, when, when you look at the skill set of Tyler Johnson, he really is the epitome of, of a catalyst. Comes in full energy every time, and if he's hitting his shots, you just ride that wave of scoring. The first one falls. And with Johnson Gregg, you never know how on his shot will be day to day. And that's okay. Teams need a player who can carry them off the bench when they get it going. Johnson is a, a bit of a microwave that heats up immediately. But if he's cold, you simply drop back the minutes for that game. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You love, guys, that Tyler Johnson continues to work hard to get better. His teammates love playing with him. And can we remember this is an undrafted player? And finished off by Porter. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Jerome, good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Murray, the pass to Porter. Back to Murray. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Murray is so skilled at drawing these types of fouls. He loves getting to the charity strike. This is his second trip to the line in this one. one falls for and Murray has it all a deadly shooter and a remarkable penetrator terrific guard play and so he hits both and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter Here's a Kobo. Pass to Aiton. Puts up a three. And it's a Kobo missing. The Nuggets leading by 15. McCray kicks to Murray. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent the first free throw is good And so Murray nails both of them. Here's Jerome. He's covered by Murray and stolen by Murray. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Just four seconds left in the second quarter. 
And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. What a performance by Jamal Murray. He has been the story for the Denver Nuggets. Willing his team to a successful quarter performance, he seemed to stop at nothing to push the momentum. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Jamal Murray had a huge first quarter. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and two steals. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, they built this lead in large part because of the sharpshooters off the bench. The subs played a superb game. Get it? Sub, superb. Oh, I'm rolling tonight. <laughs> I mean, they played like starters. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? Well, their sloppy play really surprised me, especially the turnovers. No matter who they had out there, they never seemed to be on the same page. Their only hope is to make every possession count, and that means taking care of the ball. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been one outstanding game from Jamal Murray. It's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. So out there for the Nuggets right now, Grant down low with Jokic. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton. And it's Murray in at the point. And there's another turnover by the Nuggets. Now that we have a moment, let's see who have been the top assist teams in the league this season. The Suns in second. The Nuggets third. These two teams have really passed the ball well all season. They share it. They move it. It's really a pleasure to watch how they approach the game. Now, here's Rubio. He feeds it to Ayton. Down to five on the shot clock. And Booker kicks to Rubio. And the foul on Jamal Murray. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, what a terrible foul there. The shot clock winding down, and he ends up bailing out the offense with a silly foul. On the wing, Booker, guarded by Harris. To the left side wing. Five to shoot. Here's Eaton. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his third assist on the night. Murray dishes to Barton. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his third foul of the game. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Murray, no good. Suns trail by 15. Here's Rubio. And the Suns tack on two more. I uh, tell you, if Rubio could ever score consistently like this, it could change the equation for this team. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. Players can talk amongst each other freely all season. 
Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Well, Devin Booker is known as a scorer, but this guy will find you if you're open. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now, here's Oubre. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Booker with it. Picked up by Harris. And the pass to Ayton. Over Murray. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to 13. Good bucket there from Ayton. Well, that's an unselfish player who definitely wants to get his teammates involved. A willing passer there, Booker. Knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. And now a quick review at the numbers for Devin Booker. Second in free throw percentage, eighth in scoring, and he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And you never see him get nervous when he steps to the line. That's why he's second in the league in free throw percentage. Shot clock at five. Grant drops it in from 14 feet away. Grant's got his second basket of the night. Now this guy is a high percentage shooter from this particular area. Because he can elevate off the floor, it's nice and efficient. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Get open, get open. Bridges against Barton. Shoots a fader. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And all the tools that made DeAndre Ayton the top pick in the 2018 draft already Doris on display at the start of his NBA career. You know what, Kevin? People wanted to knock DeAndre Ayton for his defense, which wasn't horrific. But they forgot about all the things he can do. Let's remember, he's a great screener in the pick and roll. He can shoot from range. He's got incredible instincts with an incredible physicality to his game. Don't talk about the defense. Ayton too good on the offensive end. Back to Bridges. Just five on the clock. 11 feet away. Here's Ayton. The jumper's good from inside six feet. Ayton's got 10 points. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Rubio against Jokic. Barton, wide open. He fires off target with his three. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Passes to Ayton. Here's Bridges. Rubio in the corner. Shoots the three. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just ten points with that basket from Bridges. Nuggets have gone three of six in the third quarter. Fifty percent from the field. Harris looking it over. Three pointer. Barton. Ubre pulls it in. Ubre's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ayton inside. He's covered by Grant. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ayton. Sharch has checked in for Mikael Bridges. Here's Barton. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. He kicks to Morris. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Suns trail by 10 to the middle and the call on the shot that sends him to the line it's going to be on Jokic boy give Sharic a lot of credit he attracted the defender's attention because he looked determined to score it the Suns have been coming through at the charity street they've made seven of their eight attempts And he knocks down the first one. 
Yeah, Dario Saric has a busier schedule than most NBA players because almost every offseason, guys, he spends his whole summer as one of the key players on the Croatian national team. This is a player who basically plays year-round. Porter's checked in for the Nuggets. Saric nails them both. The Nuggets leading by eight. Morris passes to Porter. Barton outside. Latrey. And again, Denver no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Morris passes to Porter. Over Rubio. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Porter's got 11 points. And guys, he has all the makings of an elite scorer. Porter combines size, athleticism, and terrific shot-making ability. That is rare. Now, here's Oubre. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession for the Nuggets. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Barton. And it's Jordan McRae in for Gary Harris. And so here's Denver. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's McRae, defended by Booker. Oubre passes to Booker. Back to Oubre. Pass to Jerome. To the paint. Here's Sharch. Good defense by Jokic. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Sharich. Morris kicks to McCray. Denver passing it around. Here's Craig, covered by Oubre. Craig passes to McCray. Two on the clock, and stolen by Booker. Three on three. The Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. From deep three-point range, Morris with the rebound. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. It's blocked. Boy, really tough to score on DeAndre Ayton. Such a patient shot blocker, guys. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Booker. Shoot it. Charge right side. Off target from three-point range. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Morris outside. And the basket is good. Morris has got nine. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. The inbound. No good that time. And Denver the other way now. McCray passes to Jokic. Morris looking over the floor. Pass to McCray. Here is Porter. He's guarded by Johnson. Porter, no luck. Suns trail by seven. It's tipped, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And a moment now to check out the numbers for Morris. How last month turned out for him, 
putting up about 10 points a night, four assists, and two rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Jokic trying to free himself up. Some solid defense from Ayton. Phoenix has gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Poke loose. On the wing, Johnson. He has seven. Now the pass to Okobo. From 12 feet out, Porter with a block. Go. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. The Nuggets making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Off the inbound, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Denver. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And it's Murray penetrating. Count that one. Murray's got 22 points. Suns trail by nine. Charge outside. 152 left in the third. Johnson outside. Six to shoot. the block now here's Murray he's got 22 and it goes down two points and now an 11 point nugget lead big miscommunication on defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage and that's typical of this guy he's always reading the situation reacting quickly and capitalizing well the defense daring him to shoot and he makes them pay for their disrespect last season the Suns made DeAndre Ayton the number one overall pick in the draft they had no hesitation Greg in making that call and when a player like Ayton who was in the rookie of the year combo from the get-go is available you have to take him not only is the upside sky high for Aiden but he was an impact player from day one for the Suns and Phoenix has possession after Michael Porter made the last three-pointer and Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul that'll be his second foul of the game Bridges he's checked in for Phoenix and Denver also making a switch Jeremy Grant he's checked in for Nikola Jokic Ayton finds Johnson. Suns moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Ayton. A fader. Offensive rebound. Pass to Bridges. Second shot opportunity. Porter with a block. And he's able to get it back. Eyes a three. And it's Ayton missing. Denver leading by 11. To the middle. Porter dishes to Murray. And there's another one for the Nuggets. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Ayton. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Takes a three. And no good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. And for on top, as they wrap up the third quarter with a big 11-3 run. 2K Sports, back to Phoenix after this. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And it's the Suns with the ball. Trailing by 13. Tyler Johnson is out there with Bridges. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. And it's a Kobo in at the two-guard spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Porter kicks to Murray. Porter against Bridges. Pass to Craig. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That's his first foul.
quarter against Bridges. Just five to shoot. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Deflects the pass, and that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Porter. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it so close. Will Barton, he's checked in for Jordan McRae. Here's Johnson. Down low. Here's Jerome. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Jerome's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Suns. Ball's knocked loose, and the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. The Suns making a switch here. Rubio's checked in. Gary Harris is checked in for the Nuggets. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Bridges passes to Rubio. Stolen by Grant. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. And here they go. And there's Porter on the assist by Barton. 16 points for Michael Porter. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. Defenses are going to try to be physical with him. Try to get in his head. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to 11 on the bucket from Bridges. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Poked away. A pass to Barton. Back to Porter. Second chance shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And at six foot ten, Porter is a threat to score inside, which is why the defense trying to rough him up a bit. And he makes the first. Oubre is checked in for Johnson. And Porter drops them both. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And Rubio kicks to Ubre. Pass to Bridges. And the call will be against Harris. That'll be his second foul of the game. Pass to Okobo. Ayton dishes to Rubio. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Back to Bridges. Clock is at three. Here's Oubre. It's hauled in by Harris. And it's Harris with the ball for Denver. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Up top, Porter. Murray against Rubio. Barton outside. Drills the three-pointer. And the Nuggets lead by 16. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this, Greg. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. And here is Bridges following the three from Will Barton. Aiton, the pass to Bridges. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Harris outside. Pass to Murray. With the teardrop, he can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Ayton. Rubio against Murray. Drills it from outside. Murray's got 11 points here in just the second half. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Porter. 
And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Doris, you and I are faced with this a lot, voting for the MVP. Great stats versus winning. Where do you stand on that when you vote for the league MVP? Well, winning could be the definitive line if I have two candidates who are close. For instance, for me, this last MVP came down to James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and I took it to the last possible moment. And I could have gone in either direction and been comfortable. Ultimately, I went with Giannis, and the deciding factor came down to he led his team to the best record in the league. It was a difficult vote, but ultimately, it's one category which helps tilt me in one direction or another. And I did, too. And, and what also helped me was just the improvement defensively they had made. And I know Antetokounmpo was a very big part of it. No, it's a great point. He was a two-way force. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Jokic, he's checked in for Michael Porter. The Suns have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Aiton kicks to Oubre, trying to get something going, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. With Kelly Oubre, you know this guy's going to be in attack mode. Contact or no, this guy's going to be aggressive. And he can't get the first one. Now you look at the physical gifts for Kelly Oubre. Six foot seven, but with a seven foot two wingspan. He's a terrific leaper, and he's got great potential defensively. So he can't get either to fall. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You get a sense there of how challenging it is to guard DeAndre Ayton. Gets good position, makes the defense react. First free throw is good. I think what you like most about DeAndre Ayton is probably how efficient he is on the offensive end. Now, obviously, the next step, he's got to raise his game and defensive intensity on that end of the floor. Ayton hits them both. Here's Harris. He dishes it to Grant. Martin with it. Bridges covering for three. Murray, it doesn't go for him. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Rubio against Harris. Oubre outside. And there's the pass to Bridges. And again, it's the Suns missing. Here's Denver now. They're on a 13-4 run. Great open look there. Martin's got five points now this quarter. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Passes it to Aiton. And here's Booker from the arc. And the three ball is good. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. 
Murray against Rubio and Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time that will be foul number five on him and now only one away from being in the penalty on defense Phoenix 19 point game to the inside Murray count the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well not a lot of resistance on the inside and they're taking full advantage We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Phoenix has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And the foul on Will Barton. That's his third foul of the game. And it's the Suns with the ball. Pass to Rubio. Lock at six. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Well, there are very few scorers in the NBA who are as explosive as Devin Booker. Boy, when this guy finds his rhythm, he can take over a game from just about any part of the floor, and there's nothing the defense can do about it. Free throw, good Booker. Doris, I still think back to that game where Booker put up 70 points. I mean, wow, unbelievable. Yeah, when Devin Booker starts to cook, he can get as hot as any player in the league. The one thing you want from Devin is consistency on both ends of the floor from game to game. That's how you go from good to great. Jokic, no good. Suns trail by 20. Booker in the corner. Phoenix, no good that time either. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Harris passes to Jokic. Shoots over Bridges. For Phoenix, they've gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. And the officials have that's called great. the illegal screen right there. Turnovers weren't a story for them early on, but that's changed. And now they're definitely having trouble keeping possession and momentum. The Nuggets leading by 20. Murray outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Murray's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Nuggets. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Oubre dishes to Bridges. Pass to Booker. And the jumper is on the mark. Booker's got 19 points. Boy, this guy's operating like a 10-year vet. Booker making all the right decisions almost immediately. Now, Jokic... Barton outside. Back to Jokic. Over Ayton. The shot's good from Nikola Jokic. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Rubio against Murray. Inside. And there's Bridges on the assist by Rubio. Rubio's got five assists in the game. Barton outside. Now the pass to Harris. And here's Jokic. Back to Harris. Fires for three. Grant against Booker. Another shot. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. That one on Ayton. Well, the athletic Jeremy Grant, so good at initiating contact, he gets the defense to react to his aggressiveness.
He's off on the first. Well, what a lineage for Jeremy Grant, a member of that very famous Grant family in NBA history. His brother, father, and uncle have all played in the league. And what a job he's done to follow suit. And the Nuggets making a change here. Porter's checked in. And he sinks the second. You feel like Grant started to turn the corner, I thought, last season, Doris, in his development. No doubt, Kevin. He got to see starters minutes for the first time in his career, and he was rock solid. This guy is a good rebounder. He's switchable on the defensive end, and he brings great energy every night. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. The Nuggets leading by 22. Passes it to Murray. Jokic against Aiton. Jokic kicks to Murray. And that one goes long. The Suns have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. But they'll get another chance. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. To the middle. Here's Jokic. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Aiton. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Murray, the pass to Porter. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. And the first one at the line is good. And Porter drops them both. Rubio with it. Booker outside. Pass to Bridges. Rubio outside. There's the triple. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And here is Murray. Shoots over Rubio. Murray, no good. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And not a season, Doris, that pops off the statue but a strong rookie campaign for Mikel Bridges. You simply can't ignore the defense he brings for this team. Very refined for his experience level. Teams would love to see him grow into a third option on the offensive end with this roster. Let's see if that happens. And that one falls for Bridges. Mm -hmm. 
That one misses. Aiton dishes to Oubre. And Booker kicks to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Here's Rubio. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Gary Harris. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. The Nuggets leading by 20. Addition out to Murray. Rubio comes with the double team. Grant in the post. Covered by Oubre. And no good, but he tries to maintain control. He was fouled. And he'll shoot two at the line. And you see Jeremy Grant on this team. He means so much more than just his stats. He's a fantastic glue guy. And his teammates talk about how unselfish he is on the floor great team player and an even better chemistry guy off the court and he knocks down the first one well i like how jeremy grant continues to work on his game the jumper is coming along and he remains an exceptional defensive player That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 152 left in the fourth quarter. LaCue covered by Morris. Kicks to Bridges. Lock at six. Let's it fly. Phoenix, no good that time either. The Nuggets leading by 22. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Nuggets. They made more foul shots, and that was the difference. That, that was a big advantage. The other team was defending with their hands instead of moving their feet, and they handed them a lot of easy points at the line. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jamal Murray. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes, Greg, when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Here is Carter. After the basket by Noah Vonley. Pass to Sharich. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Now, here is Morris. From deep. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Sharich. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in.
We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.